afternoon. Welcome to Rosie Road, St Helens. For today's uh, Stones Bitter League clash, Saints entertain Wakefield. Saints being led out today by the matchday mascot to his Martin Atherton. Now Martin's uh, 13 years old, he attends Forest High School in Sydney, New South Wales. It's, as far as I know, it's his first time uh, on the Saints pitch. His mother and father are uh, native to St Helens. Uh, Martin was born in uh, New South Wales. Uh, he's a, a strong Saints favourite uh, through his mum and dad. As far as I know, uh, as I said before, he hasn't attended a Saints match, but uh, he's been granted uh, the honour of leading the Saints out today. Saints out there on the pitch. I'll just go through the team for you now. Number one, uh, Phil Beavers. Two, David Tanner. Three, Sean Allen. Four, Roy Haggerty. Five, Les Quirk. Six, Paul Doherty. Seven, new signing, Darren Blower. Signed uh, Friday evening. Eight, Tony Burke. Nine, Paul Groves. Ten, Stuart Evans. Eleven, Paul Farber. Twelve, John Fieldhouse. Thirteen, Bernard Dwyer. Fourteen, Phil Price. And fifteen, Paul Jones. The Wakefield team now, number one, Steve Eller, two, Lindsay Rutherford, three is a trialist, four, Andrew Mason, five, Ian Jowett, six, Mark Conway, seven, Nigel Bell, eight, Keith Rain, nine, John Thompson, ten, Paul Malinder, eleven, Andrew Kelly, thirteen, John Clancy, uh, twelve, John Clancy, I beg your pardon, thirteen, Ian Douglas, fourteen, Richard Slater, and fifteen, Ian Sheldon. It's Captain Phil Beavers out the centre field with the referee for today, Mr. Kendrew. Also, uh, Saints match day mascot Martin Atherton out there with Phil Beavers. Big day for Martin. I don't know how long he's over here for, but uh, there he is, receives the uh, coin from uh, the referee, Kendrew. Martin goes over there to the main stand side to take his position to watch the uh, rest of the game. Uh, Phil Beavers at uh, the acting captain today with the absence of Shane Cooper he's gone home for the uh, World Cup uh, match against Australia played uh, the 9th of October so it's Saints to kick off Darren Bluer kicks deep into the Wakefield half So Wakefield in possession in their own 25. So Wakefield now spreading it to the right. Big prop forward there, Andrew Kelly. Brought down midway, midway between their own 25 and the halfway. The ball back uh, to Steve Eller for the kick-up field. Les Quirk. Well, they couldn't take that. Knocks it forward. So knock on and the scrum down is to be formed. Midway between the Saints 25 and the halfway line. Saints Martin after that 32 points to nil defeat at the hands of Leeds attending the last week. Got to get back into winning ways. Saints come up with the ball from that. Uh, scrum Paul Doherty now Groves attacks in half back onto Dwyer looking for space Dwyer there's uh, Bernard Dwyer and uh, Paul Lachlan who's absent today with uh, rib injury they were singled out by Alex Murphy as the only stars of the 15 that was out at Headingley last week but Saints in possession blew a loop movement there onto Fieldhouse makes the space makes the break to Farber but uh, Farber couldn't gather it the ball goes loose and uh, the Lindsay Rutherford the wingman for Wakefield comes up with the ball so Wakefield now back in possession, bringing it to the left. John Clancy there for Wakefield, 10 yards into the Saints half. On to Mark Conway, X leads. Utility back, Conway. Or it's uh, a dummy half, John Thompson for Wakefield. Over to the left, on to Ian Jowett. Kicks through, Beavers has to chase. Does well, tidies up well, does Phil Beavers. Had to force the ball dead. Quick play from Wakefield, from Mark Conway initially, bringing it over to the left, feeding on to Ian Jowett. He kicked through, but uh, Beavers outpaced him, kicked the ball dead, but Saints are forced to drop out from between their own sticks. 
Bit of Beavers there. Good kick from Beavers, full 50 yards. Taken on the full by the loose forward, I think it is. Ian Douglas brought down on the Saints 25. And John Thompson attacked in half back. Takes it left to uh, Paul Molina. He drives upfield. Well, Wakefield are on a high in the league. They've uh, won three out of their opening four matches. Ella there linking up. Lofted pass over to the Wakefield right. Still going through. Saint Sattling comes in. Three man Saint Saddle holds firm this time. But Wakefield from acting half back position. It's uh, John Thompson driving upfield. Conway acting half back. Looks as though he'd knocked on then. Fed the ball left to uh, Clancy, who went through. But uh, a knock on being ruled by referee Kendrew, just 10 yards from the Saints line. Darren Bluer, Saints uh, new signing from Salford, signed on Friday evening. A reputed fee of around about £80,000. Bluer comes round with the ball. But uh, Ella takes him down. His ex Parramatta and uh, Wigan star, Steve Ella. Phil Beavers now. But uh, Temper's getting a little frayed over there on the far side. And the uh, touch judge with the red flag coming on. Obviously, uh, aftermath of that uh, scrum down. Free Kendrew awarded the penalty to the Saints. Looks as though he was having a word with uh, Keith Rain, prop forward for uh, Wakefield, but Saints get the first penalty of the game. Groves, Tony Burke, first man in. Wakefield are penalised again for moving up too quickly. Had to play the ball, so Groves to play it again. Saints crowd urging for the ball to be played uh, a little quicker, but Phil Beavers stepping up for added yardage. Good kick from Beavers, finds touch on the Wakefield 25. So it's Saints uh, putting a little bit of pressure on Tony Burke now. He sees the ball from Paul Groves, takes it blindside, still going Burke, tremendous run. 15 yard drive, just 10 yards now from the Wakefield line. Saints bringing it to the right. Barber. Solid Wakefield tattling brings him down right on the 25. So say it's been uh, temporarily forced back by this uh, Wakefield outfit. Paul Groves a dummy half for the Saints now. Brings it right onto Darren Blower. Gives the dummy, but he has to take the tattle quickly in there. Second row, John Clancy for Wakefield. Loop movement there with Groves, but he changes direction, takes it to Phil Beavers. Phil Beavers moving round onto Farber. Gap on the left, on to Les Quirk. Does well Quirk, Farber's with him, but he just couldn't uh, release back to Farber. But it's uh, still in possession and bringing it right. Bluer with the up and under. The chase is on. Yes, uh, Steve Eller, I think, goes up for that ball very bravely. Takes it well. Seasoned campaigner Eller and uh, did a good job there. Off and up and under from uh, Darren Bluer. Was Wakefield now in possession. Still pegged in their own 25. Sean Allender and uh, David Tanner together with uh, Paul Doherty complete the tattle. But it's Wakefield taking it to the right. Looks like uh, Paul Mallon at that time. But it's uh, John Thompson attacked in half back for Wakefield. They move it right. Well, forward pass there. That goes unnoticed by uh, referee Kendrew. Quick hands now from Wakefield, trying to spread it, but uh, no way through for him. It's the last tackle of this set of six for Wakefield. Back to Steve Eller for the kick up field. And Saints penalised there, Paul Farber being uh, penalised for an alleged uh, late tackle off the ball on Steve Eller. So Wakefield awarded the first penalty of the game. Just seven minutes gone, uh, no score so far. Steve Eller just uh, waiting for the ball to be returned to, to take this penalty. So Steve Eller kicking upfield, over to the main stand side. Finds touch ten yards from the halfway line.
Yeah. Wakefield man plays it to himself, drives upfield, brought down just short of the halfway line. Looks like Conway at, uh, acting half back for Wakefield. Farber and Burke in there at the tattle, and Wakefield bring it left. Keith Rain, one of the Rain twins, ex uh, Leeds players, driving upfield there. Long ball onto Ian Douglas. Lofted pass out, but uh, David Tanner tidies up. The pass there for uh, Ian Jowett, but Tanner tidies up. Sean Allen from the acting half back position, taken down by uh, John Thompson, the hooker, and uh, Ian Jowett. But Saints in possession, moving it left to Tony Burke. Solid tattling from Wakefield, to move up very quickly. Rain and uh, Douglas quickly in there at the tattle. Loop movement now with Groves and Dwyer. Groves gives the dummy, takes it left to John Fieldhouse. Fieldhouse feeds it out to Beavers, linking up. Bluer, Look, pass on to uh, Sean Allen. Lovely time pass there, but a good tattling from Wakefield. But Saints keep it going, bring it to the right. Beavers, short ball on to David Tanner, into space. Beavers on the inside. So Phil Beavers there linking up in midfield, creating the gap, and then the ball coming out again to the right. He brought it blindside. Fed it on to David Tanner. He did well, Tanner. He pushed one man off. He fed inside uh, to uh, Sean Allen, I think it was. Anyway, the ball was kicked upfield and uh, Doherty followed it up and touched down so that's just nine minutes of the first half gone so after 89 minutes of rugby Saints registered the first score with that uh, 80 minutes at Leeds last week touch David Tanner see if he can convert this uh, Paul Doherty try does well, Tanner, yes, bangs it straight between the sticks. Brilliant kick from Tanner. Tanner's first goal of the season. All the kicking duties being uh, left with Paul Lachlan, but unfortunately he's out today with uh, a cracked rib. I believe uh, an injury that he did sustain uh, whilst on tour with the Great Britain uh, tourists. But uh, he has played for Saints, but he's ag obviously aggravated the injury. But Saints going to uh, six points to nil lead there. Wait for you to kick off. The ball going directly into touch from the kickoff, so that constitutes a, a penalty award from the halfway line. But Tanner being brought over, he's going to must going to uh, let him have a go for goal. Yes. The idea's right. Points on the board. And Paul Jones said substitute forward coming on as Sandman for David Tanner. So Wakefield there uh, kicking off uh, directly into touch. It was a good deep kick, but uh, it's got to uh, bounce in the field of play. It didn't so. Referee Kendrew had no option but to award the penalty. And David Tanner stepping up now, centre field, to see if he can uh, tag the extra points on. So back to the drawing board after last week's 32-0 uh, defeat at Leeds. Uh, obviously, in uh, a much-changed Saints side uh, due to uh, a lot of injury problems. Darren Blue making his debut, and uh, Paul Vartin was uh, hopefully going to make his debut, but he's uh, some sort of stomach bug and he can't uh, can't play. Oh, David Tanner there, yes, it's the post and goes in. So that puts Saints further in the lead. Brilliant kick from Tanner. Casey Saints lead to eight points to nil. Mark Conway kicks off. Ironic cheers as Les Quirk gathers it safely, but he drives upfield. Brought down by the hooker, John Thompson. Evans spreads it out. Quirk still in midfield. 
where he's just been brought down. He gathers the ball, Groves attacks it half back, takes it to his right for Tony Burke. Solid tackle in the scrum half, Nigel Bell and uh, Mark Conway, the standoff. Quickly in, Saints spread it left. Darren Blow gives the dummy, breaks through, flicks it up to Farber. Good ball there from Blue and on to Farber. He's still going. Just can't release it, he does to Doherty. Saints keep it going, take it to the left. Doherty kicks through. The Wakefield man knocks it down, but he gathers it. But I think a knock on being him. Blue were there initially, uh, making the gap, and it's on to Farber. He did well, Farber. Put the scrum down, ten yards inside the Wakefield half. Blue at a feed, Saints come up with the ball. Referee not happy with the scrum. Blue at a feed again. And the pack collapses. Saints are penalised there, referee Kendry right on the job. Obviously an infringement at the scrum. Handing out, uh, indicated by referee Kendry. I'm surprised he could see anything in uh, as the scrum collapsed there, but uh, the penalty goes way field way. Steve Eller stepping up. FD kick upfield, finds touch uh, right on the Saints 25. Saints taking back the 10 yards there, Wakefield restart. Solid tackling there, Stuart Evans in with the shoulder, bangs his man down. But it's Wakefield in possession, in the Saints 25 now. Takes it back to uh, loose forward uh, Ian Douglas. Thompson, I think that is, attacked in half-back. Wakefield spreading it left, Lancey there, second row for Wakefield, but solid tackling, Bluer and uh, Haggerty. Wakefield bring it blindside, on to Rain. Keith Rain brought down 10 yards from the Saints line now. First uh, possible chance of Wakefield getting points on the board. Conway, Eller in with the back division. Twisting round Eller, but no way through for him. Last tackle of the set of six for Wakefield. John Thompson at, uh, acting half-back. To Conway, little chip kick through. Beavers takes it well. The far side touch judges on. Obviously an infringement there, but... Uh, Conway kicked through, Beavers took the ball. Saints are penalised. Saints receiving uh, the wrong end of that penalty. Steve Eller kick, kick, uh, kicks to touch. Obviously, uh, an off the ball incident there as Wakefield were driving upfield, but they've another six tackles to make it count. Thompson the hooker. Solid tackle there from the Saints, picked the man up bodily, bouncing to the ground. Solid tackle from Paul Farber. Thompson again. On to Clancy. Going through at pace, but he's held out. Stuart Evans, I think it was this time. Back to Ella. Evades one tackle, still goes forward, but uh, Saints have forced the Wakefield uh, outfit back 10 yards. Conway taking it left to number 11, Andy Kelly. This is the sixth tackle again for Wakefield. Chip kick through again. Yes, good movement there from Conway. He kicked through, and uh, number two, the wingman, Lindsay Rutherford, follows up and touches down. Ten yards in from this uh, popular side, touchline. Well, a well worked move there for our Wakefield. They tried it over at the other side just a few minutes ago with Conway kicking through. Obviously, there was an off-the-ball incident. They received a penalty. They brought the uh, ball over to the left. It was on the sixth tackle, as indicated by referee Kendrew. But uh, this lively standoff, Mark Conway, in with the movement. He chipped through, and uh, Rutherforth coming through off his own wing position on the right wing, came through and scored uh, in this left-hand corner. And it's Steve Eller, seeing if he can tag the extra points on. in the uh, standoff position, a scrum half, I know he's a utility back, but he makes no uh, mistake there, he bangs it right over, so the score now, after 17 and a half minutes of the second half, is Saints 8, away at field 6.
So Darren Blue, a centre fielder to kick off for the Saints. Leading by eight points to six. Blue boots it uh, down right uh, to the Wakefield line. Bernard Wyatt in at the tattle on his opposite number, I think it is Ian Douglas. He brings him down on the Wakefield 25. Wakefield spreading it quickly to the left. Loose ball, but uh, tidied up by uh, the hooker Thompson for Wakefield. Strong scrum after Nigel Bell driving upfield. Finally brought down by Saints half back duo of Bloor and Doherty. But Rain gives the dummy solid tackle from Farber. Tremendous tackle, nothing in that at all. Right round the shoulders and banged his man down. But referee has blew up for what he considers is a high tackle. Well, I can assure you, nothing in that at all. The man's down on the ground, but a solid tackle from Farber. Beaver State's captain there with referee Ken Drew, he's speaking to Farber, he's awarded the penalty to Wakefield. I'm sure when you watch that on the video again, a good shoulder tackle from Paul Farber. I think it's uh, Keith Rain uh, down on the deck. Yes, there he is, just be receiving uh, treatment. As I said before, uh, Saints were hoping to put Paul Barton, the Australian uh, forward, signing on shore today, but uh, he's got a tummy bug. Unfortunately, uh, he can't, he's not fit enough to play. Ella, though, kicks over to the main stand side. Finds touch 10 yards inside the Saints' half. bringing it to the left, lofted pass there, onto Andrew Kelly, splits the defence, onto the trialist centre there, number three for Wakefield. A lovely lofted ball there, split the Saints defence wide open, onto uh, John Clancy, ten yards from the Saints try line now, Nigel Bell, onto Thompson, Bell stepping up now for Wakefield at the acting half-back position. Takes it right, Luke Moon with Conway, but Conway changes direction. Beaver's side is up, on to Stuart Evans. Wakefield there brought it uh, over to the left, took it blind side, but uh, a loose pass and Beaver's side is up. It's on to Tony Burke, stretching forward Burke, tremendous run from Tony Burke. Just powers his way over the 25-yard uh, line. Let's work at acting half-back. On to Fieldhouse, lofted pass to Bernard Dwyer. Solid tattling, Keith Rain, one of the tattlers in there, bring Dwyer to a halt, Groves at dummy half, Saints move it left, Groves onto Haggerty, into space, tries to pass round the man onto Quirk, but unfortunately, as his arm knocked by the Wakefield man, the ball goes to ground, Wakefield tidy up, and uh, back in possession, Steve Eller, Conway, gives the dummy, Sean Allen brings him down. Ian Jowett, attacked in half-back. Tries to go on his own. Sean Allen completes the tackle. Darren Blow comes in to assist. Andrew Kelly for Wakefield. Thompson onto Conway. Wakefield moving to the right. Good pass to Douglas, but he loses the ball. It must be a knock-on. The Wakefield man tied his up. Uh, Saints just couldn't capitalise on that loose ball. But as Douglas tried to swing it out to the right... The ball knocked from his hands and uh, went to ground. But he's scrum down just 10 yards inside the Saints half. Saints feed, Darren Bluer round there on the far side. Ball comes out the Saints side, on to Paul Doherty. Phil Beaver's linking up, sees the gap, inside to Haggerty. Feeds it inside to Doherty, the ball loose, all on. Nigel Bell, the ball's taken over to the right, Wakefield in possession, just short of the halfway line. Thompson attacked it half-back, takes it right to Keith Rain. good ball inside to uh, Andy Kelly. On to John Clancy now, 
Taken down by uh, Paul Groves. Tory working support. Thompson on to Ella, linking up. Short ball onto the trailer centre. Feed it inside. Wakefield still in possession. Looking very lively, backing up. But the ball's loose. Paul Groves, I think it is, over there on the far side. Drops on it. Stuart Evans driving upfield from the acting halfback position. The score still eight points to six in the Saints' favour. John Field now splits it onto Bernard Wire. But uh, Ian Douglas comes in, completes the tackle very quickly. Doherty, lofty pass over to Haggerty. The ball's loose. Still loose, play allowed to go on. The referee uh, wipes the slate clean. So the tackle's back to one. Obviously kicked to uh, a Wakefield player. John Field now driving upfield. Making much impression, can't get through this tight Wakefield defence. Bernard Dwyer looking for space. Nigel Bell takes him down. Palmer now, dummies past one. Well, that touched a Wakefield man, so the tackle counts will be back to one again. But Sean Allen picks it up and drives uh, forward. Well, Sean Allen and Roy Haggerty forwards in their own right, but uh, forced to play in the centre positions. Roy Haggerty there. Into space, bounces off one, flicks the ball inside to Paul Groves. Shows the dummy Groves, drives up field, brought down 10 yards from the halfway line. Field out attacked in half back. Wayfield defence holding very firm, Saints unable to penetrate it. Beavers linking up, on to Bernard Dwyer, into space, flicks it up to David Tanner. But to Beavers kicks it forward, the ball touches Ian Jowett, who comes in field, but to David Tanner temporarily stops his man. Beavers comes in to assist, and the tackle is completed. 24 minutes now of this first half, the score still eight points to six, and uh, Steve Ella unceremoniously bundled down there by Paul Farber. It's Wakefield now, still in possession. On to Thompson, the hooker. Nigel Bell attacked in half-back, on to Conway, lofty pass over. Unlucky there, David Tanner, he got a foot to it, but he couldn't uh, follow it through. Wakefield man, number four, I think it is, Andy, Andy Mason, yes, picks the ball up and the title counts, he's back to one. Wakefield keep it going, Ella linking up. On to the trialist centre, number three. Well, outrageous forward pass there to his wingman, Lindsay Rutherford. It was that outrageous that the referee has awarded Saints a penalty. Obviously considered uh, in an offside position. Some uh, referees give it some don't. It was an outrageously uh, forward pass. But a penalty has been awarded. So Phil Beavers steps up, just finds touch five yards into the Wakefield half. Wakefield temporarily down to 12 men, one man receiving treatment just to the left of the halfway line. But it's Saints in possession. Paul Groves onto Tony Burke, powering his way towards the Wakefield 25. Groves, Doherty, onto Blower, gives the ball to Farber, comes back for the uh, return pass from Blower, but Farber's well bundled down. Doherty sees the gap, tries to drive through, Dwyer on his left, couldn't flick it out, solid tattling there. Paul Mallard, one of the tattlers in, but uh, Doherty, a bit slow to get to his feet with the, the Wakefield man, holding him down. Blue for St. Helens in possession. Last tackle of this set of six. Saints take it left. Doherty with a grubber to touch. Good kick and fine to touch 10 yards from the Wakefield 25. So we'll be forming a scrum. 10 yards from uh, the Wakefield line. I think I said the Wakefield 25 before, but it's 10 yards from the Wakefield try line to Wakefield feed. It's Nigel Bell to feed. Saints tidying up on the scrums, 3-0 three to, three to nil at present. Well, Wakefield will come up with the ball. Bringing it over to the left. Doherty and uh, Bernard Dwyer there. Reception committee, but Wakefield still in possession. Number 10 there, Paul Malliner, solid forward. Brings it over this trailer centre, uh, looming over here on the uh, left. 
Thompson attacked in half back. On to Ella. Kicks upfield. Nice quirk. Well back. He'll have no problem in gathering this. Make sure drives upfield as Les Quirk to the 25. Paul Doty acting half back onto Bernard Dwyer. Dwyer drives uh, upfield, centre field. John Fieldhouse tries to break out to one tackle, but uh, it's John Clancy brings him down. Doherty. Well, say it's getting a little bunched. In the centre, little lacking in idea, Bluer. On to Roy Haggerty, strong runner Haggerty. Can't get through this time, just uh, breaks one tattle. Finally allowed to get up, Nigel Bell holding him down, it's the last tattle of this set of six. Four Saints, the ball back to Phil Beavers, hefty kick upfield, well taken by Steve Eller. He's facing his own line, but uh, he loses the ball, no knock on. He drives upfield, just ducks under uh, the first line of uh, defence from the Saints. But Paul Doherty brings him down. John Thompson, dummy half for Wakefield. They bring it left. Rain, on to Mason. Trying to create the gap. Back inside, Nigel Bell again. On to uh, Andy Kelly. Loses the ball, David Tanner tidies up. Well, uh, Tanner facing his own line and uh, a knock on Drew. I just don't know how we can uh, deduce that, but uh, a knock on's been given. So a scrum down's going to be formed. But it's Wakefield again. It's uh, Nigel Bell getting them on the way. A lovely ball out to Andy Kelly. He broke uh, through, but the last pass to Andy Mason was loose. The scrum's formed. This is, uh, well, the Saints come up with the ball. Beavers. Paul Doherty from acting half back. Trying to go on his own up centre field, but uh, bundled down midway between uh, the Saints 25 and the halfway. Darren Bluer attacked in half back. He's going on his own, but he feeds it inside to Paul Groves. He does well. He did well to take that ball, Groves. He nearly broke through the tackle. He plays it to himself. Nobody marking him. Still going, Groves. Overlap on the right. Beaver, short ball to Fieldhouse. On the right here. Lovely ball to Sean Allen. Still going, Sean Allen. Comes in field. Ten yards from the uh, Wakefield's dry line. Brilliant break there from the Saints. Good display from Sean Allen. Saints moving it left. Beavers. Saints crowd are getting behind him. Darren Bluer gives the dummy. Lovely ball to Dwyer. Yes! Dwyer stretches in. Brilliant play from Saints. And Dwyer touches down. Ten yards to the left of the sticks. Well, the Saints... Uh, Crowd just getting behind him then. Over here, Sean Allen, he burst through, he did well. He was brought down 10 yards short of the line. From the resulting play of the ball, it was moved to the left. Darren Bluer in possession. He saw the gap. Dwyer was on his left. He, a lovely short ball from Bluer to Dwyer. And uh, he touched down just to the left of the sticks. So Saints extend the lead to 12 points to six. And uh, David Tanner going to uh, tag on the conversion. David Tanner out there already kicked two converted to Dorsey's try in the ninth minute then and the 11th minute uh, penalty goal just composing himself there he goes Struck it well, yes. Very high, but right between the sticks. So, uh, 14 points to six to score now in Saints' favour. Well worked move there from the Saints. Nice bit of football there, Darren Bluer being involved uh, in these moves. Created the gap there for Dwyer. Ah, just a lovely ball, but Dwyer he still had to score it, and his uh, strength took him over. The Dwyer there again, the try scorer, receives the ball, drives up to the 25. Just eight minutes remaining of this first half, 14 points to six to score in the Saints' favour. Tony Burke 
Strong forward, this Burke. Groves wants a quick play of the ball. Saints bring it to the right. Stewart Evans can't gather it. Ball going to ground. Wakefield snap it up. So it's Wakefield in possession. Thompson taking it right there to uh, Paul Maliner. Thompson stepping up at dummy half of Wakefield. Looks like he's going to take it right to Rain. Clancy. Good ball there. Short ball. But Saints tattling holds out firm. Doherty and uh, Dwyer, I think it is. Rain, lofted pass over to the trialist centre, but he loses the ball. Roy Agassi playing left centre. Tardies it up, and on the far side. No, oh, no, it was Paul Doherty, I beg your pardon, but it's Tony Burke. Tony Burke driving up the blind side, on the main stand side. Saints so spreading it right. Bill Reavers linking up. Darren Blower gives the dummy. Short ball onto Fieldhouse. Into space. Fieldhouse with support on his left. Doherty must score. Takes it left again to Groves. Inside to Doherty again. Locked it past the quirk. But it drew forward. Well, I thought Sir Doherty's pace would have took him over there. But the way field cover well back. Did well, but a tremendous break again. Blower instrumental in that break. He hurt down the centre field. Doherty on his left, but he just couldn't uh, finish off. And the final pass to Les Quirk being ruled forward. So the game uh, stopped while uh, treatment for both sides. It's Darren Blue there receiving uh, treatment from Saints Physio, Tim Deakin, the Wakefield man over there receiving treatment obviously uh, took a knock in that tattle looks like Thompson the hooker well, the scrums formed Saints win the hook on to Beavers Doherty Blue attacked it half back Short ball on to Haggerty still driving forward flicks it inside to Beavers team sheet a debut try I must apologise I thought it was Phil Beavers linking up but uh, Haggerty drove through there as ever Haggerty stronger uh, forward but playing in the centre today flicked it up to Bluer and he powered over so Saints back in uh, winning ways at present 18 points to 6 with David Tanner just stepping up there for the conversion Just composing himself. Just over 10 yards out, yes. No mistake, bangs it straight between the sticks. So 20 points to six now. Saints in a commanding lead. Well, I mean, they're not a bad team, this Wakefield. They started off well. Uh, newly promoted uh, at the end of last season. This is the fifth outing. They've had uh, three wins and uh, one loss. The loss being sustained uh, home against Salford last week by 36 points to 18, they went down but uh, they had a tremendous opening campaign, they beat Warrington 14-10 they beat Wigan 25-20 then uh, Hull away 16 points to 10 a good win in the Yorkshire Cup 46-20 against Dewsbury but they went down in the second round against Leeds uh, midweek by just 15 points to 10 so not a bad uh, not a bad display but they're on the wrong, the wrong end of a 20 points to 6 uh, scoreline this afternoon at present and just about 5 minutes remaining of this first half Saints in possession, Doherty Phil Beavers pushes the tattlers off, takes the ball in field on to Darren Blower into space creates space Blower beats the ball inside to Dwyer takes it well, on to Beavers on to Paul Doherty must be a run in, can he do well? no He was brought. 
Anderson. But quick hands from the Saints. They brought it over to the right. Paul Farber juggled with it a bit. But uh, Sean Allen caught it and fed a lovely ball out to Les Quirk. Looming over here on this uh, right wing. He is on the left wing, but he was over here. And, uh, certainly uh, looking for action this afternoon, the Saints. It paid off there. And Les Quirk, his second try of the season, he went in at this corner. just a couple of feet in from the touch line just inside the 25 yard line already kicked four this afternoon there he goes is he going to come in enough no no chance goes over the face of the goal so 24 points to six the score in favor of the saints just a couple of minutes of this first half remaining it deep, David Tanner takes it on the full, good catch from Tanner, this uh, X-File Rugby Union utility back, he goes through, beats the first line of defence but unfortunately he lost, uh, lost the grip of the ball, it goes forward, Wakefield capitalised on it, Douglas there it is, the ball now with uh, Maliner, drop forward for Wakefield, Nigel Bell attacked in half back. Tony Burke and Stuart Evans bring him to a halt. Thompson at dummy half, takes it to the right, to Conway. Conway and Ella working the movement, but Conway's brought down. Thompson, on to Ella. Wakefield moving it left. Solid tattle there from Stuart Evans. The last tattle signal now for Wakefield. Loose ball there onto Andy Kelly. Kicks up field. Beavers takes it well. Shows the dummy as David Tanner moves in field. But uh, Ian Jowett, one of the tattlers in there with his uh, centre partner Andy Mason. Sean Allen for Saints in possession. Paul Doherty acting half back. Tony Burke, centre field, just outside his own 25. Paul Groves, Saints move it left. Bernard Dwyer, short ball to Haggerty. Forward pass being ruled, well, very late with that decision, uh, the referee Kendrew, but a forward pass being ruled and a scrum down will be formed on the Saints 25, it's Nigel Bell for Wakefield to feed, the ball comes out Saints side, went right through the uh, tunnel, Saints with superior scrum advantage. 5-1 in this first half, 5-2 now, but Bell comes up with the ball, Doherty brings him down, there's the half-time Hooter, a tremendous performance for the Saints in this first half, they certainly got back into the stride after uh, not scoring last week in the uh, match at Leeds, they up the scoring in the ninth minute with a Doherty try converted by Tanner, then a Tanner penalty goal, then uh, in the, on the half hour Bernard Dwyer scored a try converted by Tanner, and Darren Bluer opened his account for the Saints, also converted by Tanner, and then three minutes from the half-time route to Les Quirk, uh, powered over for a try, so the half-time score 24 points to six. now for the second half of this uh, Stones Bitter League clash Wakefield first out on the pitch out comes the Saints no substitutions in the first half or at half time uh, for Wakefield as far as I can see oh yes there we are Wakefield uh, number 14 is on uh, at half time in the Saints ranks no there's no substitutions uh, 
in the first half, none at half time, so just uh, number 14 on for Wakefield at half time. I just don't know who he's uh, come on for at present. See if we can find out for you. to kick off Mark Conway kicks it deep taken by Sean Allen driving upfield sits comfortably in the lead at half time by 24 points to 6 Stuart Evans coming through from that uh, ball from acting half back uh, Paul Groves he felt he'd broke the tackle but uh, referee Kendry orders him to play the ball Tony Burke now pushes one man off gives the dummy again Forward Burke receives the plaudits of the popular side crowd. Bluer saw the Wakefield uh, defence moving up very quickly and a hefty kick over the tremendous kick from Bluer. 50 odd yards diagonally and finds touch five yards inside the Wakefield 25. So strumming down in the Wakefield 25 Wakefield feed, Wakefield come up with the ball on to Steve Ella on to Nigel Bell I think that is driving upfield plays it to himself yes, number 11 Andrew Kelly, I beg your pardon the second row and uh, Tony Burke in there at the tackle Wakefield spreading it to the right it's uh, Nigel Bell the scrum half last tackle uh, of the set of six for Wakefield Thompson at dummy half the ball lofted upfield but uh, no problem for Les Quirk stops it with his foot, gathers it safely in at uh, the tattle Paul Farber now for Saints Ella and Rain with the Douglas coming in uh, to assist bring him down Stuart Evans Paul Groves acting half back for Saints he brings it blindside Haggerty goes in field off one foot on to the other Haggerty still going looking for support Doherty leaned on his left, but he couldn't release it. Good tackle from Douglas, the uh, Wakefield loose forward. But Doherty from acting half-back. Come blindside again. On to Paul Groves. Gives the dummy, goes in field. Solid tattling. Well, that looks a quick six, but uh, the referee has his hand raised. Doherty. Haggerty. On to Blower. Little chip kick through. Douglas drops on it. Did well there as Blower was going through to gather that ball. Ian Douglas to loose forward for Wakefield, but Wakefield moving it left. Lindsay Rutherford, the sole try scorer for Wakefield. Wakefield still in possession, temporarily down to 12 men. I think it's Nigel Bell uh, being helped off here. But Ella now kicks upfield. Work has to go back to gather this ball. Beavers back with him, Beavers gathers it. Work on his outside. Beavers rounds uh, Mark Conway as if he wasn't there. Flicks a lovely ball. Over to Quirk again. Does well, Quirk just uh, brought down as his ankles tapped. We say it's putting the pressure on, the ball being the thrown out. Quirk again. Big lad, this Quirk takes some pulling down. He brought down 10 yards from the wake for your 25. Saints on the attack, coming to the left now. Bluer gives the dummy as Dwyer goes through the gap, but he has to take the tackle. Doherty attacked in half back. Haggerty back to Doherty. Over to Stuart Evans. 
tried to release the ball, but a good smother tackle there from Wakefield. John Fieldhouse into Phil Vivers. Has to come back in Phil Vivers. Inside to Roy Haggerty. On to John Fieldhouse again, still streaking forward. Bernard Dwyer coming up there, but he didn't release it. Darren Blue from acting half back onto Doherty. Lofted ball over to Sean Allen. Back to Paul Farber. Saints keep it moving. On to Paul Doherty. Chip kick through, he's following it up. But it's the substitute back, number 14, Richard Slater, taking the full back position. Paul Wayfield comes up with the ball. and Dwyer in there at the tattle. He's waiting here now, moving it to the left. John Fieldhouse moves up very quickly. Richard Slater, trying to work his way through, onto Ella, onto this trialist uh, centre. Beats one, and feeds out to uh, Lindsay Rutherford, chips through. Phil Beavers does well, very bravely goes down for that ball. Rutherford comes back and brings him down. Paul Doherty from acting half-back. Rutherford in again at the tackle with the number 12, John Clancy. Blindside, Paul Farber. Drives up field, pushes two off. Finally brought down by this trialist uh, right centre. Saints so moving it right. Darren Blue, a short ball to John Fieldhouse. Lofted pass over to Tanner, he couldn't take it, but he does come back and uh, drop on the loose ball. See, it's still in possession. Darren Blue chips through, hacks it on. Unfortunately, run into the Wayfield man. Very unlucky there, Darren Blue. Wayfield now finally uh, make the substitution of Ian Sheldon. He's coming on for uh, Nigel Bell, who was just helped off a few minutes ago. So Wayfield now back to full compliment. Thompson at dummy half. Ellen quickly moving to the left onto Douglas. Thompson, the hook of a Wayfield, bringing it right onto Ellen. Slater moving up in the back division. Ella again. Solid tackling there from the Saints. Roy Haggerty trying to release that ball from uh, Slater. The ball back to Mark Conway, kicks downfield. Bill Beavers, well positioned, gathers it safely. Conway up, but he beats, uh, he beats Conway, gets through the first line of defence, and Groves feeds it inside to John Fieldhouse. Out to Bernard Dwyer, overlap on the uh, left here. Roy Haggerty goes in field, still going Haggerty. Feeds it onto Stewart Thames, coming through at pace. Back to Fieldhouse, good into passing from the Saints. Big overlap on the right for the Saints there. Sean Allen, out to David Tanner. Hurling up the right wing. Wakefield back in numbers, but Saints certainly putting the pressure on. Ball Groves gives the dummy, short ball then onto Bluer. Lofty pass to Dwyer, still going Bernard Dwyer, flicks it up to Les Quirk. But it's loose and Slater comes up with the ball. Wakefield back in possession in their own 25. This trial is left centre. Straight runner, but runs right into John Fieldhouse. Thompson attacked in half back onto Ella. Substitute forward Sheldon there. Bluer and Farber bring him to ground. But it's onto a loose forward Douglas. Drives forward up centre field, brought down midway between the halfway line and the Wakefield 25. Wakefield moving into their right. No way through for him. Solid Saints Sattling. Fieldhouse and uh, Doherty this time. Six tattle for Wakefield. Not so unlucky with the bounce there. The ball had beaten Les Quirk. But the bounce unfavourable for Wakefield. He keeps it in field. Quirk goes up centre field.
10 minutes of the second half gone, no further score. Stuart Evans up the right wing there. David Tanner acting half back. Sage bring it left. Bluer. Luke Moon with Doherty. Lofted past the bullet pass. Tidied up by uh, Les Quirk. Lindsay Rutherford and the trialist centre bring him to ground. Ten yards short of the halfway. Haggerty blindside. Change of direction. Goes in field. Good break from Haggerty there. On to Sean Allen. Looking for support. Still going, Allen. Breaks through the tattlers. Brought down on the way through 25. Six tackle for Saints now. Fieldhouse. Short ball, but it goes down. Players allowed to go on. And a knock on being ruled. A scrum down being awarded. Oh, beg your pardon. He's on the sixth tackle there, so the referee uh, ruling the changeover. My mistake there in the heat of the moment. It's Wakefield in possession. Steve Eller. On to Sheldon. But, uh, past it left. Saints moving up quickly. David Tanner in there at the tattle. Wakefield in possession. Midway between their own 25 and the halfway. On to Steve Eller. Inside ball. But Tony Burke and uh, Stuart Evans complete the tattle. I think that was back to Mark Conway, kicks through, a good grubber kick there from the Wakefield man. He finds touch 10 yards into the uh, Saints 25, and Saints making a substitution now. Phil Price, Saints uh, substitute back, coming on uh, to replace Les Quirk. He just took a knock in the tattle, he did have uh, an ankle injury that kept him out of last week's game, but uh, Phil Price coming on now. First team debut for Price, uh, actually named debut. He did play at uh, Wigan, Central Park Wigan, uh, and uh, scored a try uh, when uh, Saints uh, were depleted ranks uh, the season before last. So Phil Price, usually, uh, well, I'm saying usually, he's a utility back, a standoff, full back, you name it. Phil Price is there, but he's on the left wing for Saints today, just making that substitution uh, for Les Quirk. Upfield, Wakefield in possession now, just inside uh, their own half. Steve Eller. Looks like number four, Andy Mason there. Oh, Clancy bursting through. Good break from the second row, Wakefield forward. Eller trying to get him going, taking. Uh, in the centre field but it's on to Ian Douglas loose forward now brought down on the Saints 25 Wakefield moving it right Rain in with the loop movement there Fieldhouse completes the tattle on to Ian Sheldon up and under from Sheldon Tanner coming in well awkward ball play allowed to go on and it looks as though Wakefield has scored a try. Substitute forward, I think that is Sheldon. Scoring a try for Wakefield. It looks as though David Tanner was a little bit uh, harassed over there, but uh, Wakefield come up with a try. So Wakefield are 
increase the uh, lead and open to score enough the second half in the 14th minute with that Jowett try converted by Steve Eller for 24 points to 12 the score now in the Saints favour Blue now kicks off deep Sheldon this time, that uh, takes the ball, yes, Douglas attacked in half-back. Uh, Thompson attacked in half-back, he takes it left to Douglas. And Wakefield move it to the left. Clancy there, goes through again. Wakefield breaking through, Conway inside to Ella. Good break from Wakefield. Ella still going, but uh, solid tackling there, I think it's Haggerty. Goes over and brings him down. Touch judge on the far side's in, and Mr. Kendrews there holding uh, a card up. So I can only presume the target is received 10 minutes in the sim bin, or whatever uh, is only known to uh, us and Mr. Kendrew. I uh, beg your pardon, not us, just Mr. Kendrew. Touch judge uh, on the far side with the yellow flag. He was on for for an incident that uh, has taken place, I think, further upfield. There's a man receiving treatment. Wakefield man receiving treatment in the uh, Wakefield half. But uh, Roy Agate was penalised for that tattle on Ella. He's received 10 minutes in the sim bin, and Ella stepping up. For, Hopefully to tag the uh, extra two points on. <laughs> Steve Eleanor just outside uh, the ten-yard line. Bangs it right between the sticks. Twenty-four points to fourteen. The score now in Saints' favour. Darren Blur to uh, kick off. Lindsay Rutherford. possession brought down by Paul Forber and Stuart Evans on to Ian Sheldon tremendous tattle there from Tony Burke bangs him down Clancy again the second rower doesn't get through this time Burke and Fieldhouse make sure on to Keith Rain driving upfield looking for support loose ball gonna be a knock on if the Wayfield man gathers it but uh, I think an offside decision being given, yes. Referee uh, gives an offside decision, but Phil Beavers, he did get back well and uh, gather that ball. So David Tanner stepping up to find touch, which he does successfully. Ten yards inside the uh, Saints, uh, the Wakefield half. on the attack now. Bluer gives the dummy. Short ball onto Farber. Farber comes in field. Tries to release, but solid tattling there brings him down. 20 yards from the Wakefield try line. Bluer and Allen work a loop movement. Strong runner, this uh, Sean Allen play anywhere in the St. Helens team. Phil Beavers linking up with the backs. And the ball uh, knocked down. Beavers unable to gather it because Ella still had hold of him, but it's Wakefield in possession. Douglas, the loose forward for Wakefield, takes it upfield. Loft 
Deep pass there from Wakefield, split the Saints defence open. Pass it inside to number four, Andy Mason. Mark Conway attacking half back. Saints down to 12 men uh, temporarily with the Roy Haggerty receiving 10 minutes in the sim bin, but Rain lofts a pass up to uh, Lindsay Rutherford. He bobs and weaves, he goes in field, but he's not making much forward progress. A lovely ball there onto uh, Andy, Ma Andy uh, Mason, yes. Thompson. On to Ian Sheldon. Wayfield move upfield and in the same 25. It's the last tackle of the set of six for Wayfield onto Steve Ellen. Grubbers through. It's going to be taken successfully by uh, Phil Price. Does well, Price beats one tackle, still going. Just brought down just outside the 10 yard line. John Fieldhouse running strongly, takes it over to the right. Plays it to himself. Gathering a, a further 10 yards. Paul Doherty. Groves on his left. Doherty uh, had to take the tackle, he couldn't release. Inside pass to Paul Farmer. Release it to Bluer. On to Tony Burke. On the, on the left. Wire. Goes up for field. Inside. Well, Phil Price held her. Yes, Phil Price was obstructed. Saints received the penalty. Wakefield making another substitution now with number 10, a Paul Maliner. Coming back on to replace Ian Douglas. Unlucky there, Saints. Bernard Dwyer bursting up the blind side. Going to feed it inside to Phil Price, but uh, he was held. Saints received the penalty. Beavers kicks up field. Fine touch on the uh, 25, the Wakefield 25. Saints uh, not put any points on the board in the second half. 24 points to 14, the score at present. Tony Burke coming blind side. Trial is centre, brings him down. Grove steps up, attacking half back. Stewart Evans coming through at pace. Takes four Wakefield men to bring him down. Groves takes it right to Bluer. Loop movement now with the door team. Bluer on to Farmer. Well, unlucky there. Bluer there. Farmer coming through. He put him into space. Certainly injected a bit of pace as Darren Bluer in this state side this afternoon. Farmer couldn't take it cleanly, the ball went to ground, so scrums far midway between the Wakefield line and their own 25. Conway was uh, to feed, Wakefield come up with the ball. Front row forward there, Paul Maliner just coming back on, trying to uh, break the St. Tranks. Ian Sheldon. Thompson at uh, acting half back. Going on his own. Fieldhouse and Evans, but he gets the ball away to Conway. The ball's lost. Well, Roy Haggerty back on. Uh, just uh, five minutes in the sim bin that Roy Agatty received and uh, not ten, according to my watch anyway. But uh, Agatty's back on the field, Saints back to the full complement. Wakefield lose the ball, Saints quickly on it, snap it up. Saints moving it quickly to the left, Doherty. On to Sean Allen, inside to Roy Haggerty. Straight runner right into Steve Eller. Also number 11, Andy Kelly there. But Haggerty does well. Doherty sees the gap, breaks through, tidied up by Phil Price. Brought down on the Wakefield 25, Doherty again, Saints moving to the right, Groves, Fieldhouse, short ball to Sean Allen, unlucky. Loses the ball, Wakefield drop on it. 24 minutes of the second half, gone and... Uh, Saints still in the lead by 24 points to 14. They haven't scored in the second half. Uh, Wakefield have had a try, uh, successfully converted, and a penalty goal, bringing them back into contention. But Heller trying to get the uh, team going. Loose ball, scooped up by Bluer. He 
drives up to the 25, he feeds it left. To Doherty, he's finally allowed to get up, Sids, bring it blindside, Farber, short ball to Dwyer, tries to release to Phil Price, comes inside, being dragged into touch, unlucky there, Phil Price, very unlucky, couldn't do anything about that. Tried to feed back, but a good smother tattle there from this uh, right-wing duo, a trialist and uh, Lindsay Rutherford, bundle him into touch. So it's a scrum down, 10 yards in, and roughly about 10 yards from the Wakefield uh, line. Conway to feed, and Wakefield come up with the ball. No, the referee not happy with the scrum. Got to be uh, reformed. Obviously, uh, Conway there, well, never went, never went in the scrum. The referee right there, he allows play to go on, but uh, Wakefield, of course, back towards their own line. Sheldon there, Saints defence holding out uh, very well, they're moving up uh, very quickly, not uh, allowing Wakefield to spread the ball, but they lose the ball, Fieldhouse in possession, inside to Haggerty, five yards from the Wakefield line now, Saints will have to just compose themselves, make sure we get uh, a score on the board this time, but solid Wakefield tackling, forcing the Saints back, Saints Fever's there, bring it to, to the left, inside to Stuart Evans. The ball loose, touched by the Wakefield man, the tackle uh, count is right clean. Fieldhouse, Doherty, looking for the gap, brought down ten yards short. Another four tackles to make it count for the Saints. Groves, Haggerty. Loop movement there, ball's loose and Mark Conway comes up with it. Set to penalise there for infringement at the play of the ball, so Wakefield received the penalty. Touch just outside their own 25. It's Thompson, the hooker, to restart. On to number 12, Clancy. Strong running second row forward for Wayfield. Had a couple of good runs in the second half. Second it left, a rain. Good ball. On to uh, second row forward, Andy Kelly. But uh, he lost the ball in the tackle. David Tanner snapped it up. Saints back in possession. Beavers lobbed the ball over to Haggerty. It was an interception situation. The ball must have gone loose. John Fieldhouse comes up with it, but a knock on being ruled. Conway gets the ball for Saints. They kicked up field. The ball's loose. Knock on being ruled. Is it? No. A penalty awarded to the Saints. For obstruction by the Wakefield outfit. I think David Tanner in his efforts to uh, get that ball after Wakefield had kicked up field and he was obviously impeded. And a penalty awarded to the Saints way. So David Tanner steps up to kick for touch. Over to the main stand side. outside the Wakefield 25, Paul Groves to restart, Stuart Evans first man in, drives upfield takes three and four men to bring him down gains a valuable ten yards and Saints ready to the left Tony Burke Paul Groves attacked in half back, Saints move it left Bluer onto Farber, straight runner, centre field just penetrates the Wakefield 25 Referee on the job and Farber uh, stood up in the tackle, but he didn't shout held. Roy Haggerty. Well, loses the ball in the tackle and Wayfield on the attack. Trialist centre. Tried to get it out. David Thomas saw the urgency. Came across field. Tremendous tackle on this uh, trialist uh, right centre for Wayfield. He lost the ball. It went into touch. So it's a scrum down with a Saints feed. 
just inside the Wakefield 25. Sage come up with the ball. Dwyer taken down by Conway and Rutherford. Stuart Evans. Sage just uh, look a little bunched over here on the left. But Bernard Dwyer in possession. Not to spread it over to the right. Bluer, loop movement with Doherty. Short ball to Fearnhouse. Into space. Bluer. Well, Bluer obstructed in his efforts to uh, link up with Fearnhouse there. But Sage still in possession on the attack. Doherty brought down inches short. Bluer at dummy half. On to Tony Burke. Last tackle for Sage. Wakefield held out very well there. Bluer went for the drop goal but uh, no goal did a bit of a pirouette and tried to drop it over but uh, Sage should have uh, had more the field house uh, put through a gap for a lovely ball from Bluer but it was impeded in his efforts to link up with field house which would have certainly uh, resulted in a try but Wakefield very lucky there they're in possession now bringing it to the right Sage come up with a loose ball Shabby handling from Wakefield there after they've just been given possession. Penalty there to St. Ellens. No. Well, a penalty to Wakefield. I don't know how he works that out. Uh, Steve Eller kicked out at the ball as uh, the Sage man was to play the ball, but referee Kendrew ruling that uh, the ball wasn't played correctly. So Wakefield get the resulting penalty. Just nine minutes of this uh, second half remaining. The score is still 24 points to 14 in Saints' favour. Saints haven't managed to get on the board in this second half. Wakefield in possession. They're bringing it blindside. Clancy. Coming down the blindside. Thompson again at dummy half. For Wakefield. On to Keith Rain. Stuart Evans bundles him down. Wakefield moving up to the Saints 25 now. Well, the lofty ball out, but the trialist loses it again. Also, the Saints man uh, tried to gather it, he lost possession. So the initial knock-on uh, from the trialist centre, I would imagine uh, being the infringement, it'll be a Saints feed, scrumming down 10 yards inside the Saints half. Yeah, Darren Bluer on the far side there to feed. Saints come up with the ball. Beavers links up, looking for the gap. Fakes it out to Doherty. Change of direction from Doherty. Men on his right. John Fieldhouse steaming upfield. Tremendous run from Fieldhouse. Had a good game, good solid game today, John Fieldhouse. Been out with a lot of injury uh, during the back end of last season and this season. Haggerty into space. Acting half back brings it blindside onto Farber, picks it inside to Blue, and he couldn't gather it, but the ball comes back. Doherty Paul Groves and uh, Fieldhouse working the loop movement. Fieldhouse has to take the tattle. Stuart Evans from acting half back driving upfield. Last tattle now signalled by referee Kendrew. Saints just on the Wakefield 25. Phil Vivers, Phil Vivers hoists a massive up and under. Takes it himself. Flips it out. The ball uh, of the Wakefield man. But Agatha gets it. Well, touched the Wakefield man that. And Agatha scooped it up. Went under the sticks. But the referee uh, brings it back. Brings play back for an infringement. A knock on. Uh, it was on the last tackle, so the changeover being ruled. The ball now with Wakefield and Steve Eller. <laughs> Wakefield receiving a penalty at Tony Burke, being penalised for an alleged trip on Steve Eller. So Steve Eller steps up touch 10 yards from the halfway line on the main stand side 
Thompson to restart. First man, Paul Maliner. Well, St. Helens, uh, home match bounces. Just naming the man of the match, John Fieldhouse. I was just saying a couple of minutes ago, he's had a good, solid game after a lot of injury. But his powering runs up centre field uh, certainly uh, impressed the match day sponsors today. Slater brought down. Ball on to Ella. Creating space. Still going Steve Ella. Chips through, but uh, well, tries to chip through. Right into the hands of Phil Price. Bernard Dwyer. Diagonal run, centre field, Dwyer out to Paul Groves. On to Paul Farber now. Clancy, one of the tattlers, but Farber releases it to Doherty. Runs right into Keith Rain. Groves attacked in half back. Brings it to his left. To Stuart Evans. Groves again, Saints bring it blindside, on to Tony Burke, breaks through the first tackle, good run from Burke, still going towards the halfway line. Groves, Doherty, on to Darren Blower, good pass into space to Fieldhouse, brilliant pass from Blower, inside, well seen by Blower, brilliantly taken, gives the dummy, feeds it inside to Dwyer, what a footballer this Blower is, had a tremendous game here, on his debut for Saints. The change over rules. Wakefield in their own 25. Andy Mason trying to make uh, tracks out of his own 25, but St. Sattling holds firm. Conway feeds the ball inside to Steve Eller. Stuart Evans brings him down. And Wakefield still in possession. Ten yards outside their own 25. Thompson the hooker attacked in half back. Trying to go on his own. No way through for him. Manages to release the ball though to Conway. Lofted pass, but Haggerty intercepts. Inside to Bernard Dwyer. So Saints in possession. No way through the Haggerty. Brilliant interception though. Fieldhouse. Beavers. Inside ball to Farmer. Steaming for the line, Farmer. Still going. What a good try from Farber, he took it about 20 yards out, an inside pass, he steamed forward, went through about three uh, Wakefield tackles, and still lands a power his way over, and touches down under the sticks. <laughs> the ball forward there with his second try of the season. Makes the Saints score 28 points to 14. Saints making a substitution now with Stuart Evans coming off. Paul Jones coming on just for the last few minutes. Just a couple of minutes of normal time remaining, plus any uh, added uh, time on for injuries. Tanner, just 10 yards out, right in front of the sticks, no problem for this lad. Bounds it over. Increases the Saints lead now to uh, 30 points to 14. to kick off for Wakefield well Saints first score of the second half coming in the uh, 37th minute try score of Farber driving up the right wing to Paul Jones they'll just come on substitute uh, for uh, Stuart Evans his first touch 
Bluer and Doughty work the loop movement. Doughty sees the gap, tries to scoot through, but Ella closes him down. Beavers attacked in half back onto Bluer. Little chip kick through. Just couldn't gather it cleanly. Knock on being ruined, but uh, rounding off a tremendous home debut for Darren Bluer. Scrum down just inside these uh, Wakefield half. Come Wakefields. Saints are penalised for loose arm. Wakefield had come up with the ball. It never even went in the uh, front row, but uh, Wakefield received the penalty. Resulting kick, where we find touch just outside the Saints 25. Paul Malliner driving upfield. Well, right on the 40th minute there, no uh, added time at all. Saints running out winners by 30 points to 14. They played well in the first half. At, at uh, half time, it was 24 points to 6. But in the second half, in the early minutes, a Jowick try converted by Ella, and then an Ella penalty goal brought Wakefield back into contention at 24 points to 14. But it was just three minutes from uh, the final hooter when Paul Farber powered his way over for a try converted by David Tanner. So the final score is at 30 points to 14 in uh, Saints' favour and back into winning ways. So on behalf of uh, Saints Rugby League Club, Peter Tushingham Photography, myself Ron Hoof, your commentator Brian Pearce, your cameraman. I bid you farewell from Nosy Road and I hope you'll join us again next week where we're off at Tol KR and uh, see if we can uh, get back into winning ways again, like carry on with the winning uh, streak.